up next on DIY Not, I show you how to turn a draft bag into a fab bag. Because why not? Hello everybody, so glad that you're here with me because today I'm gonna go all bohemian on a basic bag. Let's get to it. Fringe. What you need for this DIY is a simple bag, some pleather or vinyl in the color of your choice, some scissors, a hot glue gun, and some glue sticks that are meant for fabric. So today I'm going to fringify this messenger bag. I did this purse yesterday, which I love, it's very bohemian, and I'm gonna use the same fabric that I used to create the fringe on this for the fringe on this messenger bag, which can fit my computer. I need a new computer bag, so this with the fringe will hopefully be my new computer bag. Fringe adds kind of a bohemian element, I think, to anything. I really like it, it adds movement. The neutral colors, you know, can go pretty much with anything, I think. It's great for fall, winter, heck, spring, summer, whenever. I went to the fabric store and got this. I think it's basically a vinyl, like a pleather, a faux leather, and it has almost like a lizard print on it, which I think is really cool in contrast to the tan, but still keeping it neutral. So I'm gonna use this to create my fringe panels. Now, the one thing that's different about the bag that I'm gonna do today versus the one that I did yesterday is yesterday I just cut little strips and tied a knot in the bottom and then poked holes using my dart awl and I just threaded through the piece with the knot on the inside and then just secured it with a little bit of hot glue. But today I'm gonna show you how to make it even more fringy with some actual panels cut. First up I'm gonna cut my panels which I'm gonna use for both the front and the back of my bag. So I'm gonna do the cascading panel. So the first one's gonna be about an inch and a half to two inches wide and then it's just gonna get about an inch bigger each panel. And you can do as many panels as you want, as much fringe as you want. If you just want one panel for a little bit of fringe, up to you. I want a lot of fringe. And the next step is you're gonna create your fringe. Take your panel and cut up the width of your panel, creating your little fringe pieces. And the most important thing is you wanna stop about a half inch from the top so that all your little fringe pieces are connected by, you know, a little margin right there because that's gonna be where you're gonna glue it on. Fringe, fringe, fringe. Hey oh. Hello. <laughs> you getting fringy? Well, guess what I'm getting? I'm Sponsor Kate and I'm getting sponsors. Hi, Sponsor Kate. Today, I'm here with another sponsor. You've heard me talk about them before and I'm bringing it to you again. You know why? Because I love books. Mm. I love books. To read them and I also love to listen to them, which is why I'm bringing you another special offer from Audible. You've heard me talk about it before and if you haven't signed up, now's your chance. I'm telling you, I just listened to a book called The Goldfinch. <gasps> I love that book. You have to listen to it. I listened to it on vacation. It's so long, which I love because I just get into it. It's just into it. And of course, I brought you guys a special offer. Da -da 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 -da. You get to get a free audiobook of your choice and a free 30-day membership. So I advise The Goldfinch, but that's just my personal choice. What's your personal choice for a book? Tell me. Audible.com backslash the Mr. Kate. So over 150,000 titles. That's a lot of titles. So go audible.com backslash the Mr. Kate. Do it now. We'll not we'll finish watching the video, then go do it. Okay? Cool. I'm gonna go listen to more books. Love you. Alright, cool. I'm gonna get back to my fringing. Thanks, Sponsor Kate. Bye. There we go. Lick it on my fringies. Okay, so now I'm going to plan the layout on my bag because this messenger bag has this flat front. I don't really want to fringe this one out too much because I just think it's going to be too hectic. So I'm just going to line the underside. And what's great about this is that this panel right here of fringe glued onto just the underside of my top purse flap is going to cover up the glue of my bottom flap. I like how that looks. I'm just gonna trim it to size. Again, the cascading effect. So obviously you wanna put your longer piece of fringe underneath at the bottom and then the shorter piece of fringe above it. I'm just gonna do two pieces here on the base of the front of my purse and then I'm gonna use the rest of these pieces for the back. Blue gun, 
in and I'm just patting down this top flap. The great thing about this vinyl is that you don't have to worry about hems or anything because it's basically self-sealing and it looks really clean. Boop. Oh, I love it. Oh my gosh, it's like bangs on a purse. So actually what I'm gonna do for the back panel is I'm gonna take two of the longer pieces of fringe and have them facing each other so that from the front you can see that lizardy snakeskin pattern and also from the back. Okay, so this is a functional bag with flair. My favorite thing. So I'm gonna use this every day and of course, now I have to go flaunt my friend. I paired my DIY fringe bag with a slouchy t-shirt tucked into a pleather skater skirt, some fringe booties, and of course, Mr. Kate jewelry. It. I hope you guys love this project. It's so much fun. I can't wait to use that bag in my everyday life for my computer bag. So if you guys do this project, I'd love to see pictures. Please hashtag Mr. Kate so I can see them and follow me on social media. I'm everywhere. And remember to subscribe, comment, thumbs up, all that fun stuff. And remember, there is no wrong way to feel good about yourself. Bye. Mr. Kate!